Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about is this the best free mind mapping tool for 2022? But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and stick around to the end because there's going to be a dad joke at the end. Alright guys, let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are at a place called Wise Mapping. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is a 100% free mind mapping tool. Now, this mind mapping tool is open source, which means you can donate if you wish to, but you don't have to. And you can create and download as many and save as many mind maps as you want. And the best part about this is that it's really easy to use. Allow me to show you one of the mind maps that I have just recently created. Now I created this primarily because I'm going to be actually doing a PLR product that I'm going to be creating. And this really is the mind map to what I'm going to be creating. It's about making money on YouTube before you're actually monetized. So what I've done is I'm going to be turning this into a private labor rights course that I'm going to be launching in the near future. Now I'll be making only two videos a week because I'm going to be primarily focused on creating this course over the next couple of weeks. So as I can have all the things like checklists as well as ebook and video course and all those things that are involved in creating PLR products and then we're going to then I'm going to announce it to you guys when it's ready and when I'm going to be launching it. So as if you want to get on board as an affiliate, you can. And this way it can we can all get into this launch together. And I'll also let you know where I'll be launching it. Okay guys, let's get into having a look at how this is done. Okay, so as you can see, I have things like introduction, lessons, uh, lesson sign up for Gmail, Okay, so I've got all these things for the course. Now over here, these are literally modules that I'm going to be adding to the course as well. So there's going to be approximately 20 videos in total. Now each video will be approximately between two to five minutes long. And on the odd occasion where there's a bit more detail needed, it might go up to 10 minutes, but usually it'll go between two to five minutes long. Now, what I'm going to be doing is We'll show you how you can do all this, everything about this site. So let's go and create a new mind map. You'll see how easy this really is. Let's go here to Wise. We're going to click on the actual logo. And then over here, I'm going to now go New. And we're going to give this one a name. Let's just go Trial Mind Map. And we're going to go this is for my YouTube Oops. video. Okay, so we go there. Now I'm going to be showing you some really cool things on this. This has got some amazing features. Now, first of all, you can maneuver this around by just clicking off the actual thing and you can maneuver it to where you want it. Now, I'm going to click on this one here. I'm going to change the color of it. I don't like the color of it specifically. So I'm going to be making that one orange. There's an outline just there. I can keep it as orange or I can change it. But I think I will might make it white actually. No, I'm going to make it, I might make it orange. I'll make it orange, there we go. And that way it just stays consistent. Now another thing we can do is by hitting the tab key, you'll actually see that it puts it out there. Now, if I tap the tab key again, it allows me to be able to create these topics like this. Now, I'm going to be creating a few of these just to show you what you can do. Now, let's say I want everything to be on the right hand side. So as it all flows together, like what I had previously, all I need to do is grab hold of this one and bring it over to the other side and it will then put it where I want it. 
And the best part about it is it's so intuitive, it will just put it in the right place. And you don't have to go mucking around with it. Now let's say you want to do a couple more. You just hit the tab and then click on that and hit tab again. And this way you can just have as many as you want and it doesn't matter if you put it up above or below, it puts it in evenly. Now let's make this one here, introduction. So all I have to do is just type in the word introduction. And this one here can be done here. Let, let, um, by clicking on it, you just then start typing lesson one. And we go down and we just go lesson two. And so forth. You can do that all the way through. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to pause the video while I go ahead and do this. Okay, we're back. Now, let's go and have a look at, if you want to say, for example, you want to add some more, and let's say you're not happy with it being like looking like that, and you want to change it up. All we need to do is left click on, all we need to do is hold down the control key, click on all of these, and then you can change them and actually add a little box around them if you wish to, and you can make it look a bit more unique. And to do that, you go over here to where you see the circle, square, and triangle, you click on that, and you can choose whichever one you want. And then you go like that. And then all of a sudden, as you can see, they match the color of the ones you want. Now, let's say, for example, you want this one to be a different color. You click on that and you can just choose whatever color you want. And then you can make this one here blue. Okay, click on that. Then make that one blue. So you want it to be that color. Oops, wrong one blue and so forth you can go through and you can change it to whatever you want it's kind of self-explanatory I'm going to undo both of those there we are oops we do that okay cool now let's say you want to you're on lesson four and you want to make some modules you just click on that one just there and then you hit tab and you click back on there again and you go tab and what it'll do is it'll intrinsically put it in there and you can then add this as different modules and you can add that and you can change that shape as well by doing the same thing by by pressing control and highlighting over the top of these and you can change the shape and color now i'm going to be making that one circular and i'm going to be removing the color of that and take making that white and we click on that and there you have it as you can see it's now that way and looking really good now you can have it however you want it is really easy to do now you can also add notes to this let's say for example you want to add a note to the lesson one you want to say pay attention to what you're doing in lesson one and you want to know what lesson one's about all you have to do is go add note and that will open this box up here and you can say this video is about finding the right niche to do your video course in. Okay, so that will do and you hit accept and that will automatically put a note in there as you can see it has a note on it all you do is click on the note and it brings it up to remind you what it is now let's say for example you want to be able to put an icon in here as well and you want to make sure that it's about niche selection now you can choose whatever you want for one of these icons for niche selection i am just going to use a key for this one that will suffice and that lets me know that that's about niche selection. And you can go through and you can add different icons to different sections just so you can make it more unique. Now, you can also shrink it down by using your mouse roller. And that's what I do is I just use my mouse roller to shrink it down so you can see what it's like. Now, you can also shrink the entire page down if you want to and then increase the size of the actual mind map so as you can see it better and it gives you a better view of what it looks like. And as you can see, it fits on the mind map section just perfectly. Now, if you want to say, for example, you want to save it, 
that's a really easy do. I'm just going to expand that up just a little bit so that it takes up a little bit less room. There we are. Make that down to 100, 100%. There we are. To save it, all we have to do is go Control S or we can hit Save. And by doing that, we can now save it. And it'll save it as Trial Mind Map. Now, let's say, for example, you want to download this. Now, the best way you can download this will be by clicking over here on the right hand side see where it says export you can click it on there and you can either do you can send it to wise map you can send it to free mind or you can do mindjet which i've never seen before so i'll have to look that one up see what mindjet's about scalable vector graphics so you can save it as an svg file if you wish to and the best part about saving it as an F svg file is you can put it onto a powerpoint presentation and by doing that, you can then have it as a PowerPoint slide, which can then take up the entire screen and you can scale it up to whatever size you want and it'll still maintain its clarity. You can also go over here to image, which is what I'm going to do. Now you can scroll down to here, but then you're going to go, where's the download button? By clicking, by coming off this white section and coming over here to the gray section, you scroll up and there you have it. You can click on accept and then you can now download it to wherever you want. I'm going to be downloading this into my, oh yeah, well, I might as well download it into my file where I'm keeping this one. And I'm just going to click on there, put it in there. And I'll be right back while I go looking for it. And I'll bring it up and show you what it looks like. Oh, I'll just open it up here. There we are. And there you have it. It's very quick, very easy, very, very simple. Now, other things that this one does is it allows you to be able to put a link in here. Let's say, for example, you want to be able to link a, you have an affiliate offer, you want to link to it. You can go clicking here. And let's say, for example, you have an affiliate link, you can go there and you can paste whatever the URL for the affiliate link is right there. I'm just going to go google.com, https, colon, forward slash, oops, forward slash, forward slash, Google com okay and we can hit accept and as you can see it's got a little link on there which allows you to be able to click on that and it will send show you that there is a link there now if you were to download that that would hopefully be a clickable link that someone could then click on like that and there you have it right you can also share this to other people you can share it you can publish it and you can enable this, enable sharing, warning about publishing the map, you make it visible to everyone on the internet. I don't really want to do that right now, so we're just going to cancel that. And we can just continue up here. Now let's have a look here. You can also say, for example, you want to be able to link this one to this one. So I'm going to click on here. And to link this, we go, we click on this little one here, this one with the red arrow, click on that. And then we go from there, and we want to link it to say here and we can click on this and we can maneuver it out by clicking on the actual line there drag it here and we can maneuver it out so as it becomes a little bit nicer looking there we are and we can maneuver it up we can maneuver it down just a little bit there we go so i wanted to go to eight and there you have it so when you click on it, you can see the relationship between these two. Now, if you want to drag that up just a tiny bit, you can and make it there. And this way, it's more distinct. And that goes from lesson one to lesson eight. And as you can see, they are now linked together. It is really easy to do. And as you can see, it's something that, you know, is going to be very, very helpful in your mind mapping. And the best part about it, it is 100% free. And you can download as many as you want. And you can save as many as you want. Because it is open source. That's the beauty of this. And I love it for that reason. In fact, I'm going to be scrapping all of my other mind mapping tools and just using this one. It's free. Why not? And... It's easy, which is even better. I mean, how good is that? 
you got the best of both worlds here. The only real downside I can see to this is it doesn't allow you to import any images. But I guess they do have, it is free and they are limited on the amount of size that they can keep on here. So if you have too many images, I guess it takes up too much bandwidth and therefore would make it potentially harder for them to be able to store it for you. Because as it is, they are storing it for you. So that's, yeah, you can't complain about that. This is going to be my mind map of choice. It's called Wise Map. I will leave a link to this in the description down below. Okay, guys, it is joke time. The irate museum administrator says to the young man, that is a 500 year old vase that you just broke. The young man looks at the administrator and says, ha, oh, thank goodness for that. I thought it was brand new. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know of any free mind mapping sites that you might be aware of. Also, while you're at it, over here on the left hand side is going to be the top one here. We're going to be showing you more mind maps. Down here is where YouTube is going to be showing you some videos they think you might like. And over here is a button for you to press if you want to subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.